Well, hello guys, it's Lego Show TV here doing my first Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi set review. This is the big one. This is 75190 First Order Star Destroyer, 1,416 pieces, ages 9 to 14. Here you can see it comes with the First Order Officer, First Order Shuttle Pilot, First Order Stone Trooper, First Order Stone Trooper Sergeant. Supreme Leader Snoke and DB9E and you can see Poe, Ray, and Finn there and of course Disney at the bottom this is such a big box and uh, you can see all the features of a set so now let's take a look at this set itself all right, so here is the first star Star Destroyer, and this thing is huge. I mean, it is the first one I have ever had, the first ever Star Destroyer. Now, I did have the Vendor Class Star Cruiser and the Clone Wars, which is about the same size, but um, I no longer have that put together, so uh, there's really not room I could even put it on here. But the uh, where to start? There are um, a couple of stud shooters that go on each side here. And the amount of detail and kind of repetitive, repetitiveness I say it, um, is crazy. The amount of studs is crazy on this set. I'm looking at it now. And uh, yeah, there's just some. There's. Uh, shooters on each side that have studs but you did get them extra so you get a extra stud um, green stud things but um, you can get um, you can't pick this up you just gotta pull the handle and you can't open this up so you can get a better view of it Yeah, it's crazy. This is insane. You can pull the lever up like that, but I would probably carry it from underneath because it's a little bit better. Do you do have room to put uh, Snoke here? Sorry for any uh, pop-ups. And there's an elevator that goes right up to his room. Right here, there's an elevator that goes right up to his room, and he looks like he can talk to Kylo Ren from that little green or that little blue thing right there. And uh, yeah, this is crazy the amount of detailing in here. Got a little control room, and uh, and stickers there and uh, so yeah sorry about the clock it goes off with the um, mention on the, not the best times but um, you do got some printed pieces right here these are all stickers sadly once they were printed pieces the things that you'll see on the side um, right there a bit of it is a sticker those things inside of their stickers just the amount of detail and I can't even get to the other side I can't even turn this thing around hardly it's so big but um, they even capture the one part that was the most hilarious from the force awakens and that's the Kylo Ren's uh, bad news scene there's it is limited sometimes you have to kind of force these to fold up there and uh, if you do like whoa snow just fell into that but uh, you do kind of have to force it a little bit to go over that that's kind of a limitation at least with mine um, 
So, uh, but you can sit him right there. There you go. There are some minor little holes that I, right there. I'm gonna try to turn this thing around so I can show you the other side. It's not easy. Not exactly easy to do. I'm thinking about making a stop motion with this. One of the first people to make a stop motion with this set. But uh, yeah, you can take down one side here and you can see the stickers that are right there. That's Kellerman's little control room. If he's on the ship ever. If this is even the finalizer. But uh, yeah, um, there's no again. Sorry about any background noise. But uh, yeah. Just the absolute size of this set is crazy. Unbelievable. But, uh, yeah. But the engine detailing is pretty nice as well. I can't even show you that from, it won't fit the long ways. But, uh, yeah. But the amount of engine detailing is uh, amazing as well. So uh, yeah, that's about it for the this part of the set, the set itself. So now let's take a look at the minifigs. All right, so here is everything you get in the set. And the BB-8 does not come with the set. It is just to compare to the BB-9E when we get to that figure. But the first up is Snoke here. And uh, this may or may not be a spoiler of what he looks like. So, uh, Kind of a spoilerish warning. Uh, so, the torso detailing and leg detailing is amazing. I just love this figure, it's pretty cool. Can't really tell who he might be, but um, yeah. Um, best um, figure out of this whole entire set, and the only way to get him. He does look like he has been taking a bath though. So, uh, yeah. You see torso detailing, the detailing, facial detailing, and the back facial detailing. This has a bunch of markings on it, and uh, back torso detailing. That is Snoke. Here is the first order shuttle pilot. You can see that. You can hopefully see the torso detailing okay. Facial detailing. Very cool new helmet here. It's kind of like Darth Vader's helmet. Facial detailing. Torso detailing, leg detailing. No leg detailing there. And the back torso detailing and back, no back head detailing. And that is the first order shuttle pilot. Here's the first order stormtrooper. He's just a regular uh, First Order Stormtrooper. So we've seen them before. And uh, torso detailing, leg detailing. And the, of course, mad clone face, as everybody calls it. It fell down. And uh, then you can see no back head detailing and back torso detailing. That is the regular First Order Stormtrooper. And then the First Order Stormtrooper Sergeant. You can see torso detailing, leg detailing. He does have a pauldron on. And then you can see mad clone face. The back torso detailing. And here is the uh, first order officer. The first. Yeah, first order officer at the look of the box. Um, <coughs> and uh, he's the first figure you build as soon as you get the set. 
and uh, the, the torso detailing, leg detailing, facial detailing, back torso detailing, and no back head detailing. And then we got, like I said, once again, BB, BB-8 does not come in the set. This is to compare the um, to BB-9E, the evil version, BB-8. Um, so uh, we don't know the significance of how this will play out, how uh, BB-8 will handle the clone, or how they even make an evil robot version of him. But uh, yeah, the detailing is just a little bit the same, except the uh, except the faces and the little circles are a little bit different than the uh, BB-8. But uh, yeah, and then you get this little droid thing here, and that's about it for uh, figures and uh, everything you get in the set. So, without further ado. Let's go to the ratings for the set. Be quite honest, I really don't have a flaw with this set. There are some opening um, little cracks that you can't really help. But, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, the price range might be a concern. Because the $160 price range is crazy and uh, yeah the um, there's a ten dot there's one that's ten dollars less than this set so yeah they're they're really expensive and uh, yeah so uh, yeah um, on to ratings I ain't gonna get a set a 10 and uh, uh, yeah it's just overall um, a great set and I would have liked to have one hero character in it maybe Luke but um, yeah for some reason Luke is not in this wave but uh, yeah um, this is my first ever Star Destroyer and for my first ever one it's amazing and it's the only way to get Supreme Leader Snoke which may or may not be a spoiler <laughs> along with BB-9E, but you can also get BB-9E in the uh, Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter set. So, uh, yeah, he's not exclusive, unlike the uh, um, Sergeant and these two figures I think are exclusive. But, uh, yeah, and once again, BB-8 did not come with the set. And I will give a special shout out to my friend John AL123 Productions. Today is his birthday, so, Happy birthday, and uh, hope you had a good one. And uh, yeah, um, so please comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribe to uh, AM123, my friend. And uh, um, I shall see you in the next video. Be looking for a first order Star Destroyer stop motion if I can figure out how to do it. But uh, yeah, I think the only major things that could have. Um, could have been better is the price and a good guy figure and I would have liked to also have seen kind of Ren in this uh, set as well but you kind of do get him if you count the little blue uh, hologram piece because that has to be him so uh, yeah I would hope it would be him but uh, yeah um, that's about it for uh, this set, so please comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Bye.